other Everglades in the world. They are, they have always been, one of the unique regions of the earth, remote, never wholly known. Nothing anywhere else is like them. Their vast glittering openness, wider than the enormous visible round of the horizon. The racing free saltness and now, The project actually began way back in the early 1900s when catastrophic hurricanes and storm mm -hmm. led to Congress authorizing the Central and Southern Florida project which was meant to get water out of southern Florida so that it could be developed and people could live there safely. About 20 or 30 years after the Central and Southern Florida project was operated, we did realize that there were effects to the environment that draining the Everglades, draining the wetlands, uh, ultimately caused. The South Florida Ecosystem Restoration Program was initiated with some foundation projects in the 1990s to help restore the water flowing south out of Lake Okeechobee to Everglades National Park. The South Florida Ecosystem Restoration Program encompasses all of the restoration projects that we're doing uh, from the northern part of the watershed just south of Orlando, Florida, uh, water that flows down the Kissimmee River uh, to Lake Okeechobee, uh, water flowing to the St. Lucie Estuary east out of Lake Okeechobee to the Caloosahatchee Estuary, and then water on south through the Everglades Agricultural Area, the water conservation areas on down to Everglades National Park and Biscayne National Park. So as a part of our program, we've been successful in projects all throughout that geographical area. We're nearing completion of the Kissimmee River uh, restoration project that's going to restore river. over 40 miles of river channel that's going to open up thousands of acres in that watershed uh, so that water can be maintained uh, in that in that part of the system before it gets to Lake Okeechobee. We have projects east of Lake Okeechobee uh, on the Indian River Lagoon uh, where we're going to store water and treat water to improve the water quality. The impact of our work can be seen from the environmental response that we've already seen with restoration projects that we've completed. Uh, we do a, an intense science and monitoring program so that the results of our restoration projects have the data to, to reflect the success that they're having. It means a lot because these are these facilities. This is the place we mass produce thousands of millions of bugs and take them out to the field. Engaged in this is what we do for a living. The helping ecosystem being liberated from the invasive plant uh, impact. Saltness and sweetness of their massive winds under the dazzling blue heights of space. They are the unique. It's well known that ecological health and human health are tied together. And we also know that the health of the environment is very much tied to the health of our economy. If our environment is healthy, our water is clean, we're going to have diversity of, of wildlife utilizing that water. If we have diverse habitat, we have diversity of wildlife utilizing that habitat. The more wildlife we have, the more healthy that the ecosystem is, and the better our economy will run because a lot of our economy is based upon our ecosystem. That's something that we have to work through as we're balancing the needs of ecosystem restoration. The cost of us not doing it, it goes back to the whole waste. It, it's, you know, we're not going to be able to provide the water that we need for people to drink in South Florida. A lot of people don't realize, but the CNSF, the Central and Southern Florida Project, was designed for two million people. There's eight million people living in South Florida now then. So the idea that we can just forget about the other six or build a program that won't satisfy the needs of the nation and the people in South Florida, it's just a non-starter. We're going to have to do better than that. Everglades restoration process um, isn't a sprint. It's a, it's a marathon. It's going to take time. It's going to take resources. Uh, our partnership with the South Florida Water Management District is very important to, to our continued success. There are multiple stakeholders that we have to work with on a daily basis to ensure that the restoration projects we're doing you know, don't have negative effects. The team that we have, again, is, is a very strong team here in the Jacksonville District. Uh, our team is very committed to ecosystem restoration and what this program provides. And I feel that the successes that we've had are, are just a stepping stone to the continued successes we'll have in implementing this program.
The miracle of light pours over the green and brown expanse of saw grass and of water, shining and slowly moving the grass and water. That is the meaning of the central fact of the Everglades. It is a river of grass.